Well, I have a problem, if you can't tell. I have a neighbor's cat. Poor stray cat in the neighborhood that is using my asparagus bed as his potty box. And so now I've got to fix this, try to repair some of the damage, and get some protection up around it. It is really a shame I have no animals and yet I have to deal with other people's all the time. So there's the asparagus bed done. Maybe that'll keep it out until I can get my daughter to help me get some chain link up around it. I'm hoping maybe it'll keep them out. Fingers crossed. I see a place here I need to pull that tighter. Okay, well there's that for now. We'll see how it goes. Poor asparagus bed. They got seed pods on them anyway. I didn't get home from my daughter's until after 12 o'clock or thereabouts and I took care of the way over yonder I took care of the asparagus bed to keep the cats out of it and now I'm going to clean up this bed that's the romaine lettuce I'm gonna get this side of it all cleaned up and I'm gonna plant some oak leaf lettuce and some um, kale Yes, I want some kale this year. I did. I grew it last year, but I didn't eat it. I was so sick of it from the year before, and here of late, I've been craving it. So I'm gonna get all the weeds cleaned out here. You see, I got a bunch of weeding to do. Hopefully, before it gets too much colder, the wind's picked up. We've got a bunch of rain coming late tomorrow, so I have to get done with what I'm gonna do. I've been out here raking the sweet gum balls up, because I'm gonna have to put them in the beds to keep the cats out of them keep the cats out of the beds using it as a potty box. I don't need to add the moisture control to this because this is not a summer planting. This is an early spring planting. It will all be done by May and when I do my planting in May that's when I'm going to put the moisture control in. You can learn about your garden here by looking at the weeds that grow in it. My mama always called that dollar weed and this is chickweed. And chickweed likes high fertility soils and it likes neutral soils. But if you look at the weeds that grow in your bed, it tells you something about them. Like dollar weed is a perennial. He is a nightmare for me. I'm constantly fighting him. He's everywhere in my yard. It's not one of those winning battles. He's winning. <laughs> I mean, these little roots. And you see them? It's hard for me to move. My knee's bothering me. See, he's everywhere. Throwing him down there at that end, letting him die. He's being exposed. I'm finished getting this cleaned up. I just thought, you know, let's talk weeds. Well, I'm gonna have to give it up. I was sitting here hand weeding on this side. There's so many little weeds down in here. But the mosquitoes are eating me alive. So it's time to give it up for tonight. But I am constantly fighting dollar weed. And I have a big pile down there from over that side that I will uh, lay out in the sun and let that dry out entirely. And then I can reuse it once it's thoroughly dried out. But seeds are planted on that side, the kale and the uh, oak leaf lettuce. And I really need to cut this stuff back again. We have another cold spell coming this weekend and rain's coming tomorrow afternoon. So I'm calling it quits for now. Quit feeding the mosquitoes, D. <laughs> and if I didn't mention it, I have raked up the sweet gum balls to go into the gardens to try to keep the cats out of there. It does help. It's not 100% foolproof, but because I don't have enough of them, I need a couple more sweet gum trees. But it does help if you have a sweet gum tree in your yard or have a friend who does or can go out to the woods and get them. <laughs>